We're here at the Miami International Boat Show with Miles Lee with Freeman Boat Works. We're on the 37 Quad 350s. So he's going to take us through real quick and just give us features he'd like to point out on this boat. So here we go, Miles, take it away. Absolutely. So this is our 37 VH. It came out in December of 2014 at the Miami Boat Show, so uh, almost three years now. Um, they came out with this boat, and the first one came out with uh, quad three, 300 Yamahas. Okay. And um, this particular model is around 75 to 77 mile an hour, top speed. Wow. Um, cruising at 45, 50 mile an hour at economy 1.2, 1.3, somewhere in that ballpark. And this one you can do 350 or 400 Verados, 300 mm -hmm. Yamahas, and then of course Suzuki's as well. And then mm -hmm. you can also power it with a pair of 627, seven Marines. So, wow, very nice. Um, as far as the layout goes, we have a reverse face seating where you can do a um, tackle storage. It's basically the same thing, but it's a, a table here with flip up lids, a rigging station. Tackle box and, cook, and your, your, your base cool, station. Your, your Coolers would be uh, would be raised up. Same same layout, just raised up, and you have a drawer underneath. Okay, um, kind of like a tackle station integrated within. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. So uh, from there, you got two four live wells here and here, 70 gallons and 70 gallons in the transfer. These are all live wells. Live well, live well, build, build, live well. Okay. So you can do a, um, a dive door slash tuna door on either side um, on the transom, and then um, optional rocket launchers as well. This is a uh, <clears throat> Pompanet launcher, release marine makes mm. one as well. Yep. Let's continue so up moving, forward. Moving forward into the electronics. So this is this particular package is twin 8622 garments and. Um, what size are these screens? 22 22s. The maximum we can do here is the, uh, is the 22s. Seems so, to do the job. Absolutely. <laughs> so as you see, Mercury now is using a Simrad vessel view unit for, okay. um, for the Mercury controls. So you got all your light switches and VHFs up top, three-sided polycarbonate Eisen glass, mm -hmm. um, your autopilot ahead. So when you're sitting here running the boat, every, everybody can't get down to interrupt your beer drinking. <laughs> um, simply reach up. And, uh, and change your coordinates from here. First, he's having to lean forward and do it on the screen. Wow. So we got XL tackle storage on both sides. We got uh, tackle on this side, and on the other side is drawers. Okay. Um, this one has powder coat. You can do powder coat, line X, line X of Sarasota's come together and done a lot of work for us. Moving forward, you have your console, um, bulkhead doors, access to all your electrical. Thousand quart coffee box, floor dry storage, starboard size, and a full ride port ice chest. Billy's idea for when he built the 33 nine years ago was put put the fish in the coffin box, clean ice on the floor, just wide enough for a snow shovel. So you go in there with clean ice. <laughs> Look at that. So this boat was uh, was built for a, a true fish wing. Somebody who likes to get out here and working hard. You can't break the boat. Oh. It keeps it simple. Definitely what you can uh, notice very quickly in comparison to any sort of V bottom. The amount of space that you have. What's the beam on this boat? It's 11.6. 11.6. 11.6. Basically all the way down from bow to stern. Unbelievable. You guys have been extremely successful lately and uh, there's no question why. So I appreciate Absolutely. the time. Thank you very much. And uh, we wish you a great boat show. So continue doing what you're doing.